Hey guys, so today my channel is, I'm doing my first ever Get Ready With Me. I'm pretty excited. Um, probably doing things a little bit different since I'm working with a phone. Yes, if you guys saw by my other video, I finally got my tripod in about, I want to say 10 minutes ago and I'm already playing with it so much. So yeah, this is how I wake up. I've actually been already up for a few hours. You know, I, I had breakfast. Etc. Etc. But yes, I still look like I just woke up. As you guys can tell, I don't wake up looking fabulous. Just something you gotta make happen, okay? So let's just get started. So I'm not taking you guys in the shower with me because that'd be too weird and we're not that personal. But these are the products I use when I take a shower. Starting off with the Matrix BioLage Shampoo Color Care Shampoo. I use that just shampoo. There's Pretty much not much to say about it, just a shampoo. After that, I use my, I don't want to pronounce it wrong, as you guys can tell. That's what it's called, 3 Minute Miracle. Makes my hair soft, you know, deep conditioner. Yada, yada, yada. And to wash my body, I use Olay Ultra Moist Body Wash. Because y'all know, well you probably don't know, but I'm pretty ashy in the winter. I'm living in a pretty cold state, so yeah, it's winter right now. Really bad, not like in California or Florida where it's freaking 80 degrees. But yeah, that's what I use. So once I'm done with my shower, I take my Aveeno lotion. I have that all over my body. I clean my ears with, of course, cotton swabs. Deodorant, this is the Dove Ultimate Go Fresh. And this is what I use for my hair, the Chai Silk Infusion Oil. I actually also use a detangler, but I'm almost all out, so the, those are the products I use. I actually forgot I always use my Pons re Rejuvenizing. This is my day cream. I also have a night one. I just apply it on my face, use baby towels in case, as you guys can see, and the excess make makeup I could have missed from last night or any. Once I'm done with all that, I just start with my makeup, starting off with my, you guys can't see that, my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Take a little bit back of my hand. I apply that over my needed areas, which are my cheeks, because I have really bad pores. Small bit of my forehead, my nose. Bring it down the neck. And, you know, nothing standard. It's like putting on lotion on your face. After that, I apply my Revlon Color Stay Makeup Foundation 24 hours in the color. I want to tell you guys the color. I just need to find it. 240 Medium Beige. Looks like that. And I actually got this on clearance at Target. They were having a huge clearance sale. And for some reason, all the darker shades were on clearance for like 3 bucks. <laughs> Sorry, my voice still from the morning. <sighs> They were on sale for, they were on clearance for $3, and for some reason this color wasn't, no other color was. I'm going to bleed blender, just dab it on. And the neck, make sure you blend it down your neck. Well, that's what I do. If you don't like doing that, you don't have to. Down the nose. Under the eyes. I like putting it on the eyes, too. Just taking the beauty blender. I know I look so funny right now. Just dab it all on. Make sure you go down the neck if you don't want to. Don't do it. You know, always do your makeup the way you want to. Bless you. My dad just sneezed. Make sure you apply your makeup the way you want to and the way it'll make you feel beautiful. And this is making me look paler than I really am. But trust me, guys, this is my color. After we're done with everything else, you're going to see how it is my color. And then with the pointy end, I like dabbing it on under my eyes. And actually on my eyes. On my eyelid. <laughs> After that, I go on with this huge kabuki brush. I don't know where it's from. It was given me from my sister. I just like blending it all in. To give it more of a natural effect. Make sure you get in that hairline. I know my eyes look a little red. I got some shampoo in my eye. Thumbs up. 
and comment down below if you hate that. After that, I'm going in with my powder, if I can find it. It's my Maybelline powder in 50J. Oh, no. Wrong name. It's Medium O2. Right there. Taking just a bit. Take about that much. You can take more or less. I usually don't even use all of this. Take it off the actual cap. Tap off the excess and just... I just like using this to set my foundation. So nothing moves around during the day. You know, my, you might do a few touch-ups during the day, but that'll pretty much be it. Nothing too drastic. There you go. After that, I like doing my eyebrows with my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the color medium. That's how it looks like. As you guys can tell, I'm hitting pan already. And I'm not really going to go too in-depth with my eyebrows if you guys want to see a video on that. You guys just comment down below. If you guys want to see any specific video, comment down below. And then after I make some really harsh eyebrows and thicker than they really are, I like going in with a spoolie on my finger to actually shape up my eyebrows. And I actually have a wedding coming up in a few months. I know that seems like a long time, so I'm just letting them grow out. I know they don't look the same, just so they could be nice the day of the wedding. So I'm just going to comb them all out and then shape them out with my finger. And then for my eyes, I don't, I just have an e.l.f. primer, which I lost. So another, suppl another supplement I like to use instead of that, that I think is actually way better, is the concealer and, concealer and corrector in color medium by BH Cosmetics. Yes, I know I hit pan all of them, but I still have some on the side. And I like using this because I think this actually gets the color to stick on better and to look more vibrant. Once I'm done with that, I like going in with this blush brush. I don't use it for blush. I like going into my BH Cosmetics palette, the six color palette for contour and blush. I like going in with this really pale white that actually doesn't come out like that. Dipping the brush in and putting it all over my lid. To kind of set the color even more. And also going into my lips with this Carmex that actually is almost finished. There's still some in there. Bring in my lips so once I get to the lips, they'll be nice and soft. And another and another reason why I actually like putting in the powder over it, because sometimes if your base is too sticky, it actually holds on to the eyeshadow even more and it'll be harder to blend, so just making my job easier. And for this look, I'll be using my BH Cosmetics 88 color palette. This is in the neutral. I actually love BH Cosmetics. I actually bought a so much stuff just one purchase on Cyber Monday because everything was like over 70% off and you can't really beat that but with Beach Cosmetics you never know they always, have, they always have so many sales and it's just well priced I think this was originally like $15 for this palette and I got it I think for 10 or 9 I got so many palettes from them and so many products and if you guys want to see my Beach collection just again down below and for my eye, the first thing I actually like doing is taking a pale white and kind of like a nude color, putting putting that under my brow bone to already highlight it. After that, I'm after that I'll be taking this double-ended blending brush. I actually use this bigger end to contour and also to define my eyes. I'll be taking a light brown shade. Well, I'll be mixing two light brown shades. You guys can see this is the entire palette. I'll be taking this shade right here, this shade right here. Using that to define my crease. Just to define my eye just a little bit. And for this look, I'm just going to be doing more of a neutral eye, more of a heavy lip. And I don't really like using this brush for anything other than that or also blending something. If I'm blending like a certain amount of colors, you're basically my entire eye because it is such a huge brush. And sometimes it gets a little crazy. Like so. And then after that, I'll be taking another blending brush. This is by e.l.f. 
I'll be taking the dark brown that was actually under those two colors. Again, on my crease and on my outer V to define it even more. Sometimes I like to tug on my eye just a bit, not that much. You don't like to tug on it so much on the skin where it gets all wrinkly. Just to define the eye. I like opening my eye and making sure that I am getting into the crease. And I actually try not to get some dark shade up in here. Up in here. Up over here. So my eyes don't look smaller than they already are since my eyes are actually pretty small. Unless you want to do that, then again, go for it. And then going in with the same blending brush and the same two colors we used in the beginning. Just using the blending brush to blend it all out and not make the heart, not make the line so harsh. And then with the same flat ended brush, I'll be using the same two colors I used on my eyebrow bone, putting them on my lid, making them gradually. Making them gradually connect or disappear with the brown. Again, I'm going again for a more simpler look. If you guys want to request any look, you know, go for it. I usually like, I try not to swipe as much, but you guys can see I'm doing it. Sometimes I like to pat it on. But if you guys want to see a certain look, you know, just request it down below. I will do my best, and you guys will probably get what you want. Also, like taking that down here, and I actually apply some of the concealer on my bottom under my waterline. And then taking the same blending brush with the same dark brown that we used, smoking out the bottom line. After that, I like going in with liner and mascara. Let me show you guys my eyeliners. Well, let me start off with mascara. I use the L'Oreal Tel Telescopic is Shocking. I got this also on clearance at Target. I know all that clearance is over. I didn't have time to you know, make a video of it. I wish I could. I regret it. This is how the wand looks like, and I'm in love with this mascara right now. So, yeah. Let me just grab my eyeliner. If I could find it. I use my Jordana Fabuliner in the color black. I think this is just $2. But actually, I don't like using it once it's new because it has a really pointy end, you know, to getting getting right here. That line is really good. But other than that, it kind of hurts. So I like, if you like that, you know, go get it. But it is 2 bucks, and it's a really good liner. And actually, like, using that and then setting it with a black eyeshadow to set my liner. And again, this is a very pointed tip. Um, eyeliner, try not to poke your eye just like I did, and then, you know, have your eyes water and then ruin everything that you just did. Once that is done, I actually don't like showing you guys when I do my mascara and eyeliner because I don't want to mess up on camera, and because I have a weird mascara face on my... So, now you guys know, I'm actually going to move on to contouring my face. Again, the six color palette by BH Cosmetics, using, again, the huge blending brush, as I mentioned before. Taking that really dark brown color, the only color you can really contour with, unless you want to do the opposite. I'm doing it lightly. And actually, if you don't know where you should contour it's from the end of your lips to the top of your ear, turning your face could help, but actually, I don't think the fishy face helps at all. I'm taking, I'm making a short line, trying to blend it up, then trying to blend it out. If you can't, that's fine. Getting with the other side, doing the same, and then just blending it out and also lightly on the, over here, and also down here, and then just blend it all out with that brush, and then I will be back. And then after that, I go with my BH blending brush. You guys can tell the theme of this video is probably be cosmetics. Just blending those lines out. And it doesn't blend that good. You know, that's fine because we will actually be going back in. Again, I'm blending after we apply our blush and highlighter. 
Put them down as good as you can. Another thing I like to do is, I just lost track of that. I like going in again with the same blending brush and just pinching my nose and kind of finding, defining my nose. I know I sound funny because I'm pinching my nose. To make your nose appear sliver and connected it to make it look more natural. It's like I don't even have a nose anymore. I'm mean, going in with the same brush we use to highlight, just straight line and then blending the two sides to make it appear more natural. Then taking my is it take me to ticket to Brazil by Wet and Wild. The same brush we use. Access. I'm probably in the same areas where we contoured. Make sure you blend it down the neck, not making it look so hard. Like so. Then going in with the bigger blush brush, I think this is a powder brush, again by BH Cosmetics. Taking the white powder and then taking the medium, the second darkest shade in the palette for blush and then putting that on the apples of my cheeks. Can you guys see that? Not really. And then also going in with the darkest, again going in with the white shade first. Because this unharshes the color. That makes it so harsh on your cheeks instead of having like a real pinky pink pink. Which is not what I want right now. Going in with the same brush we had used in the beginning, just blending out the harsh lines. As you can see. And on lazy days like this, I don't really like, you know, adding all the products I use under my eyes. I'm gonna like giving them a break and just adding a a really pale powder that I bought I think last year, almost two years ago from What a Wild. It's light medium and as you can see it's not my skin color. Just find that with this dipple brush by Beach because I stippling it on as stated by the brush name under my eyes. Let's take it on the areas where I did not contour. And also another thing, if you apply a powder over your lips, it makes the lipstick last longer. And to finish off the makeup, I just lightly tap this beautiful purple by L'Oreal. It's Violet Chiffon 175. I will show that to you guys right now. Upside down, and then I'm gonna move on to the clothes. And for jeans, I will be using my Savage Arch stretch jeans, size large. I'm not afraid to tell you guys my size. I've been just in love with the jeans, and then the cutoff in the bottom, how it folds up right here. I'm so in love with them. They're so stretchy, they're comfortable, they're jeggings, and I got them for, I wanna say, yes, $12.98 at Burlington, but I got my discounts since I'm an employee. So you guys should check out that store. And for my top, I will be using this sweater which was a Christmas present from my mother. Uh, it's extra large, it's really, really huge. Trust me, I, I don't want, I don't know the price. From Target, love it, so comfy, huge, even like the arms are huge, I have to fold them up. Really beautiful purple, sparkly, and I love it. And for earrings, I will be using these flower earrings. I wanna say they're from, they're from Charlotte Ruth. I got them from, with a complete set, they were like, 10 pairs of earrings for like $5, which is a really good deal. You guys should go check that out. And for use, I'm use and for shoes, not use. I'll be using my moccasins. I got them from Target. I want to I wanna say they're still being sold, but I got these like over a year ago, and I think my mom told me they were sold out, so she bought like every single pair left. And these are just really comfy. Use these on my lazy days, and I just love them so much. And this is a completed outfit with my huge sweater that I love so much. It's so comfy. My comfy jeggings, really comfy, and my shoes that I love so much, and the completed makeup. For my hair, I'm actually letting it grow again. I have a wedding. It was really damaged. I chopped most of it off. You guys saw how long it was, and I just put a little tiny bun there, pin the pieces that are falling off, and then just let it go from there. It's a really simple hairstyle. You guys 
want to see a tutorial on that, I just tie it back. And that is it. Hopefully you guys liked what you see. If you guys want to see more Get Ready's with me, down below. Like, share, comment. Whatever you like, it's free. And see you guys next week. Again, sorry about not posting videos. You guys saw my situation. If you saw the DIY cleaning video that I did before with my brushes. And I'm glad I'm filming again. Bye, guys.